And in this topic, in this video, I will show you the calculation, all right, using the Chincho relationship to calculate the skin due to deviation. Okay, so now we go to our case. Yeah, this is our case. So for example, we have a deviated well with deviation angle of 30 degrees and the reservoir has net peg thickness H of, for example, 100 feet or 500 feet, just for example. And the well bore radius RW is 0.5 feet with horizontal permeability or KH of 100 millidarcies with vertical permeability or KV of 50 millidarcies. Okay, now we need to calculate the deviation skin. And we can do that by using these formulas. And I will show you how to use these formulas to finally arrive at the deviation skin. Okay, so first we need to calculate the permeability ratio. Here I have KH divided by KV or you can also use KV divided by KH, okay? Doesn't matter as long as you are consistent. So if I use KH by KV, then 100 divided by 50, it should be two, easy, right? And we also have deficient thickness. We will use this formula, all right? So HD or dimensionless thickness, is H 500 divided by wellbore radius 0.5 multiplied by the square root of permeability ratio. And in this formula, the permeability ratio is KH by KV. So in Excel, I will type in SQRT, open, and the number will be two here, all right. Okay, I will make it more spacious. Okay, so the dimensional thickness is 1,414. And now we need to calculate the pseudo angle. I call it pseudo angle. This is the formula. It will involve inverse tangent. Okay, but you need to be careful. To be consistent, we need to remember that the angle is in degrees. Okay, so first I will calculate the arc tangent and we can do that by using this formula. A10 returns the arc tangent of a number in radians, right, in radians in this range. Okay, so this calculation will give us a number in radians. And later on, we need to calculate that radian number to degree. Okay, so first here, the permeability ratio is KV divided by KH or one divided by this result. Okay, so I will use SQRT of one divided by two, right? Because this is KV by KH, whereas here I have KH by KV. Okay, multiplied by the tangent, right? The tangent of this angle but you need to be careful that here in this calculation the angle should be converted first to radians okay so i will type in radians radians of 30 here okay and then i will close the tangent all right and then i will close the arc tangent okay so please be careful radians of 30 and then tangent of this number and then the arc tangent of the whole thing inside. Okay. Okay, so this is the number in radians. So I need to convert this number from radians to degree and I can do that in Excel by using degrees. Okay, converts radians to degrees. Okay, and then I will open here and close there. Okay, so the pseudo angle is 22.21. Okay, and then I can use these values to finally arrive at deviation skin. 
equals we will use this formula minus open of pseudo angle divided by 41 close to the power of 2.01 i will be careful here minus something to the power of 2.01 can be indefinitive okay so rather than using this form i will carefully use it minus one multiplied by these numbers okay so the excel will calculate them and multiply it with minus one okay just to be careful right and then i will continue minus this term okay open open again so the angle divided by 56 close to the power of 1.865 multiplied by the logarithmic of this term and this term is actually dimensional thickness okay but dimensional thickness divided by 100 so please be careful here we have h divided by rw for dimensional thickness multiplied by the square root of permeability ratio so i will use this one the logarithmic of the dimensional thickness divided by 100 i will close all right and then i will close it once again answer all right so the deviation skin is minus 0.5 so with this case with deviation angle of 30 degrees with net pay thickness of 500 feet well the radius horizontal permeability and vertical permeability of these numbers i can sort of stimulate my well all right with deviation skin of minus 0.5 Okay, so what if we have higher angle? 